I'm here as Kenya's uh, lead scientist program ambassador. And um, the role of the NEF ambassadors is to um, connect the NEF um, with, with various stakeholders um, in the region. And they are NEF's link to local education, research, and private sector stakeholders. And they also run the NEF's Africa Science Week that wants to promote science and technology to the public and to encourage entry and retention into science. Uh, arms of the mentorship program where we had students come and say that they felt free in the peer training sessions as opposed to when a teacher is teaching them and so we are this is something that we still do we also have uh, the involvement in the community so we had the students in the picture at the top they were they participated in a in the international computer science conference for the first time that was held in Nairobi and this was very beneficial because two of them are actually postgraduate students and so on. CynthiaAntem.com basically highlights the stories of young people like us. I can tell most of us are young, yeah. Young people around 18 to 30 who are basically using life, art, leadership and other kind of skills to positively impact their communities. And I also interview game changers CEOs and influencers in their various fields. And the main thing is to bring these people who are successful, the high achievers, closer to young people who are high potential. Um, I wish somebody had come to my school and sh showed me this telescope and talked about the night sky because what it does is it zooms you out of your um, of your small little world which everyone has I mean inside each of your heads is going on your little monologue and um, this is th that's that's your reality and, and this is, is is what we perceive as our every day to day sort of lives but um, once you start zooming out uh, you know this little compound here becomes zoomed out to you know the bigger uh, Githero Road or whatever. Githero. Yeah, Githero. And, then, and then you kind of keep zooming out to this region of Nairobi, and then you keep zooming out to this region of, of Africa called Kenya. Um, I'm kind of curious to learn from the private sector what the obstacles are at this point, like why there isn't more funding for scientists in Africa, and what we can kind of do to go forward from here, so that we don't have to have conferences where we all say, oh, there's a gap. You know, I'd like for one day for us to be saying there's no gap we're actually employing people and it's and it's working for both parties so um anyway that's uh that's basically what i have to say thank you